गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट दिस इज़ पूजा अपल एंड वेलकम टू माई चैनल सो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस द टॉपिक ऑफ ट्रिग्नोमेट्री इट्स इंट्रोडक्शन फर्स्ट आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस ट्रिग्नोमेट्री सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग आई वुड लाइक टू गिव यू वन एग्जाम्पल सपोज इफ आई एम स्टैंडिंग हेयर सपोज आई एम स्टैंडिंग हेयर दिस इज द लेवल वे आर आई एम स्टैंडिंग and i am looking at a building suppose this is a building i am looking at this building this is the top point where i am looking and i want to know the height of this building can i measure this with the simple scale i can't measure so how can i measure if i am standing here this is my eye level suppose this is my eye level i am looking here so this is my base and from my eye level i am making an angle suppose i am making an angle here and i want to know this distance how would i know this distance i can measure this distance how would i know this distance this distance can be known by using this trigonometry how see this my eye level this is the top point of the building and this height of the building all of these they are making a right angled triangle let us name it a b and c so it is making a right triangle abc so we can use trigonometry to find the height this height bc so let us start trigonometry first we should know what is trigonometry trigonometry is a cons consist of three words tri gon and metry metry means measurement gon means sides and tri means three three sides and metre means measurement so we are having three sides here three right angle triangle we are having three sides it's say having ab bc and ac three sides and one angle is here so we can use this trigonometric measurements to find the heights or distances which we can't measure with the scale so we can measure with the help of that so let us study these first <clears throat> so if i am taking this angle as a angle a so this is called what this side is called this is called hypotenuse this is called the base and this is called the height height or we can say it perpendicular <coughs> base perpendicular and hypotenuse perpendicular means it is making the angle of 90 degree here clear so whatever the angle here is making so here we can measure this base we can find out so with the help of angle and base we can find out the perpendicular clear so we are having some ratios here first of all sin a sin a means sin of angle a or we can write it sin of angle a that is perpendicular upon <coughs> hypotenuse p upon h that is bc upon ac sin similarly we can write cos angle a cosine of angle a cos is base that is ab upon hypotenuse that is ac so these are the two terms that we should know sin and cos and with the help of these two terms we can find the other one like tangent tangent we write tan or we can write it as tangent of a so tangent is 
perpendicular upon base that is bc upon ab <coughs> so that's all for today